and you know how much I love that Nintendo Switch! going on youtube it is your boy qkg and i'm just going to be mainly talking about a game that i've been enjoying a ton out of recently and then with their brand new update coming out with their first battle pass and making a lot of different changes that i didn't expect that's the game bro company it's very very close to valorant in my opinion and actually those are the main two games that i've been playing as late as a lot of valorant and roll company because mainly even though it kind of has that same you know competitive taste that your boy been feeding it's also a game that provides a different experience that valorant does valorant is pretty much you know kind of strike mixed in with i know a lot of people will say like you know a moba s like kind of like um not even just moba more of like a character based shooter like an overwatch where your character has abilities and certain things like that but the game is stupid tactical so if you got a brain and you know how to use it you're gonna do some pretty cool things in the game and with this game, Rogue Company, having almost the same, it's a 4v4 concept instead of like 5v5, but it's still character based, but it's actually third person instead of first person, and I would say that it is more on the Call of Duty and gear side, more of the tactical end, however, with the character's abilities, it creates that more tactical playstyle, defensive playstyle, aggro playstyle, like the duelist, whatever you can see fit, it pretty much has it covered, and with the game you know also being in like an early access state and then it went into beta and it's been open for quite some time and it's literally on everything and i mean everything, everything. so and it also performs 60 fps on everything even freaking switch which i'm playing on as we speak so the game has performance down i mean besides crashes but everything else has been a really solid experience and something i've really been enjoying this past definite for like a few months almost what brings me to another character which is kestrels and she is busted and i know that you know a lot of people have been saying that you know sometimes when all the new characters come out everybody's like oh they're instantly busted no no she busted she literally her passive bro gets 1000 extra cast per down so with a character that has a pretty aggressive playstyle, aggressive kit has a damn bouncing grenade along with a really good performing SMG and probably one of the best ARs in the game as of right now, mainly comparing it to like the AK or Saints MLX uh, Mark IV. Then also her all it's like this Halo drone shit. So you literally have these little drones on her arms and if she aims them at a certain point, they go directly to that area and it'll, you know, let's say if there's a wall 50 meters out, if she aims towards that wall, they're all gonna go towards that spot. So with that being said, if you're behind a wall and you happen to, <laughs> I don't know, just think it goes through a wall, you're going to blow yourself up, literally. So the, the ability does not go through walls. And if you catch the edge of a wall, you're going to blow yourself up. The thing I will say, low-key, about their battle pass, I mean, it is good to see it. There are a couple of things in the battle pass I do like. Um, I do like Trench's skin that he gets. Um, one of the Dallas skins were okay. And then the very last skin that you get where it's like a Scorch skin, but she kind of looks like this Iron Man demon looking thing. I don't know about that, to be honest with you. I mean, I'll be honest. Like, I mean, it looks it looks all right. It's just not, not really for me. And then also, I don't really play Scorch that much. So it's just like, eh. I don't have as much incentive to get the battle pass. Only just because, for me, it's just not a lot of skins that I like at the moment. So I might hold off on the battle pass for now until, like, maybe some better stuff comes out. And now I can fully freaking main Saint because I'm not going to lie, like, using the scope, it was cool because he had, it was such a great defensive play style. And he had the Claymores, which oh, I peed at him, man. I missed them damn Claymores on him. But having it to where it's at that third person view, I mean, it just felt a little out of place for me. But especially when this character is, you know, as especially as of right now, having a little bit more of an aggressive play style with the C4, but still having options to be a little defensive here and there. So I do like the Saint changes here. And then I definitely do like Kestrel as a definitely new addition. Like for me, even though I have all of them, I'm not really a big fan of Sigurd right now. Maybe when I start getting into that tanky play style, I might like it a little bit more. But as of right now, that's kind of like the main 
just an update. So I'm definitely going to go back into playing some more of this as we speak. So definitely leave your comments down below on any games that you've been playing the heck out of that's been coming out with some fire content or anything else you think about on Rogue Company or whatever else, you know, tickles your fancy. I'd love to thank you guys for tuning into this video. And as always, make sure you slide over to my Discord server as well. All we do is post links, talk games, shop it up like homies. That's all we do. So I'd love to thank you guys for tuning in. This is your boy QKG. And peace out.